morning everybody it's monday i am shattered so last night jennifer woke up around midnight wanting to be changed because she'd been to the bathroom in a nappy and she didn't like it it was fair enough i wouldn't want to sleep like that either so I brought her down got changed and she was happy went back to bed and then at 10 to 1 she started screaming in her sleep so she's having night terrors now which is all i need poor kid i mean so Oh God, it was a good 40 minutes before she went back to sleep. It was it was horrible to see her thrash and scream and move around like she was in agony. Eventually she went, you know, quiet and down went back to sleep like they do. And that was fine. Of course, then I'm awake and listening for the next thing to happen. And then at 10 to 3 it happened again. Not as long and not as bad, but it still happened again. So I've had about three hours sleep, if that. I'm absolutely shattered. So we won't be doing much this afternoon, although I do have two orders to pull and pack ready for going out to post. They have to go out tomorrow. So I am just about ready to start my shift. I've got a cup of tea. Paul's having a walk. He'll be back in a minute. And uh, I'll hopefully see you after, but I'm probably, if Jennifer's tired, going back to bed. If not, I'll be going into the garden and colouring, hopefully. And shed sorting. <laughs> I'm sure I'll survive. See you later. So I'm in the car. I've just picked Jennifer up from nursery. There she is. You gonna wave, Jen? Good girl. And they said, "What lovely manners she's got for two and a half." You know, because she always asks for, for things. She always says, "Please." If you're holding her, she wants to get down. She says, "Down, please." And if she wants something or more of something, she says, "More, please." She says, "You're a good girl, aren't you?" And they were playing with a ball in the garden when I came down. I was watching her run around with the ball, and this little boy was throwing it for you, wasn't he? yeah so it looks like jennifer had a lovely morning i finished work thank god I'm gonna go home now and see if i can get some sleep so i've got a bad headache now right should we go and find daddy yeah, yeah? there's a little voice there yeah and a ball. ball yes she loves balls jennifer wanted her ball pit out today <sighs> had to find all the balls didn't I? she used to throw them everywhere when you were little I think we'll have to get you some more. Let's we get some more balls. No. Yeah, there's not enough in there. Ah. She likes them though. Ah. Is that fun, Jen? Yeah. You were playing football, weren't you, earlier? Yeah, I seen you. Good morning, everybody. Oh, no. Tuesday. I forgot to wrap up last night. I was so busy doing stuff, but I did make five videos. One current chat, three flip throughs. And my video about my Halloween horror colour books, which you'll have seen by the time this one goes up. I'm actually sitting here watching the news. I'm going to put YouTube on in a minute and I'm just going to get ready and start my job. I'm just logging into all my systems before I have to start. And yeah, just see how the day goes. I've only got three more days this week because I'm off on Friday. Yes, can't wait. Um, yeah, it's nice. Can't wait. No, uh, looking forward to having some time off and uh, very best. So, let's get Tuesday done so we can have some fun. Good morning, everyone. It's Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. Excellent. Um, I didn't film yesterday afternoon. Um, I had a really bad headache all afternoon. I went, also went to bed for a couple of hours. Jennifer was tired, so she went to sleep. And I just felt really muggy and muzzy headed all evening. So I just didn't do very much. Didn't do any of the eBay I wanted to do. Um, feeling better today. So hopefully after work, I'll get some stuff done. I'm hoping anyway. Um, so I'm working. I'm just waiting for a call. And uh, I'm watching some YouTube. And I'll uh, see you when this is uh, all over. And... Uh, I guess I try and get some stuff done today. So Jennifer's got a lot more balls today. Another 200 balls in her ball pit. You having fun? Yeah. Did you go and play in the mud at nursery? Yeah. Did you get wet? You were soaking, weren't you? You got ice lolly down, you know. Hi everyone, it's Wednesday night, so um, yeah, 
Paul had a meeting, so I came up here and just chilled for an hour. Um, Jennifer went to sleep. Um, and then when she woke up after dinner, she was so very, very tired. She was kicking and screaming and wanted to go to bed, didn't want to go to bed. But she's asleep now, which is great. So I've been just sitting colouring, really, this evening. Um, watching some TV. I'm watching some stuff on Jack the Ripper at the moment on YouTube. While I'm setting up to do some filming, as I'm filming a colouring chat, um, I've got hopefully to finish the castle arts video and then if I've got enough time after I've done those two if I can I will film my completed pages and my book haul and supplies um, so yeah I'm gonna try and do those tonight as well I have finished The Webs We Weave by Michelle Morgan and I'm currently writing a review for my books, um, book blog, called book, uh, it's books, books, books dot blog. I think that's the address anyway. It's books, books, books anyway. So you'll find out what I really think of it in that. Yep, yep. So it's a good book. Um, but I'll expand on why I think it's a good book later. I really enjoyed that. Can't wait for her next one to come out and see what she comes up with next. Now, what am I reading now? Well, I am reading The Jack the Ripper Files. I've had this around for a while. I've got two versions of this. I've got this one and I've got the version that actually contains the extra documents. So if you're a Marilyn fan, you've got the Marilyn Monroe treasures and that. It's like that with the little pull out things of copies of like the Dear Boss letter and, and uh, newspaper articles and such and such. So that's it. This is the version that doesn't have that. That's why I'm reading it. It's a bit easier to manage. I'm also watching documentaries on Jack the Ripper because I'm in that sort of mood yeah i'm just interested in, in that sort of thing this the mystery and those poor women i've also got three more ripper related books coming two of them are jack the ripper and the third one is called pictures from the abyss and it's by andrew firth who wrote ripperland which is up here this this one which is this one by mango books that i've i pre-ordered it and it will come signed which is great so I'm really looking forward to that. Um, cut off was the end of August, so I'm hoping it should be in printing now and hopefully it won't be too long before it arrives. I'm really, really looking forward to that one. Um, and two other books. I can't remember what the ones they were, but I, I, what I do every now and then is have a quick look on Amazon, a quick look on eBay. And you know, the old, the new ones I get on Amazon, brand new, and the older ones, the out print ones, or I get on there. My Jack the Ripper shelf is nearly full, but I have got another shelf that I can also use, so that's cool. Fascinating subject. I've got lots of different books on from like Ripperland, which is um, going to be the same as um, Pictures of the Abyss. It's it's uh, pictures of um, the East End and Whitechapel uh, now uh, with photographs from then all montaged together. So it shows you the now and then together. So you can see what it was like and what it is like now. Um, pictures of the Abyss is going to be like that, but they are from the Jack London collection. Jack London visited London. I know, in, I think it's, yeah, in the early 20th century, I want to say, and took lots of pictures of the East End, so it's more of a wider thing, but it is part of the Ripperology uh, collection, it looks absolutely brilliant, Andrew Firth is a great author, and I can't wait to read that, and um, like I said, the two I've got from eBay will be coming soon, um, I just love reading non-fiction, I've got not, I've got a huge stack of fiction, and what, you know, in fact I've got about one, two, three, four, five, 10 stacks of non-fiction and one stack, oh, sorry, 10 stacks of fiction and one stack of non-fiction. But uh, some of that's been hanging around for a while as well. So for instance, I've got another Mae West book and I've got one downstairs I'm reading. I've got a couple of ancient Egypt books, uh, Warner Brothers, there's another Cary Grant, films of Clark Gable, Tony Robinson's biography, and so on. I've also got a Beatles one that I've started reading and finished, Can't Buy Me Love. So before I tackle that stack up there, I am going to try and finish Mae West. I'm going to hit the Beatles biography hard. I've got one, I've got the Agatha Christie notebooks in the other room to read. I'm going to pull them in, start reading that. I've still got that Judy Garland big book to finish. I might have a go at that after I've done this video. So I'm going to crack on with my filming and I will see you tomorrow. It's Thursday. It's my last day in work. Wednesday is great. Thursday's better and Friday I'm off. Sorry, I'm feeling a bit indigestion-y. Yeah, too much tonight. I'm sorry. Um, Friday 
I'm dropping Jen at nursery at normal time and then I'm coming back. I'm going to tidy up the, this, this spare room because it is a bit of a mess. There's washing everywhere, there's an eBay stock everywhere and there's books everywhere. And there's colouring books everywhere. So I'm going to tidy this room up and try and sort out this bookcase because I still haven't finished it. Um, so I can get all my Hollywood books over there. That'll free up another two shelves for me to put colouring stuff on for the time being. And I can rearrange my colouring shelf and I'll show you that when that's done. And then if I've got time I might do a bit of eBay photo in. I shouldn't need to do any videos if I get everything done tonight. Because I want to photograph eBay stock tomorrow if I can. Although I might do that for yeah, I'm gonna leave that to Friday morning actually. So I might be I might film tomorrow night as well. So I'm going to crack on. I'll see you in the morning. Have a nice evening. I can't wait for my week off. I can't guarantee I'm gonna do me much be doing much. I'm having my flu jab on Wednesday for a start. Yeah, Wednesday. So that's exciting, isn't it? Anyway, I'll see you later. Bye guys. Good morning everybody. It is Thursday. It's my Friday, my last day in work today, and as you can see I'm ready to start. About to log in, I've got a minute to go. Um I'm fine, I had a good night's sleep, did loads of videos last night, did um, colour and chart, completed pages, finished doing the castle arts video and my horse. It's four videos that have been now completed, I'm currently editing them together. If you could see this, it looks quite funny, I've got two laptops, this is my work one, this is my personal one, I'm seeing this on in the background, so I've got two on the go, when I finish editing one I'll start the next one, when I've done them all I'll do the castle arts one because that's going to take the longest time I would imagine. Um, I am just getting ready to log in because it's almost time to start. Um, after today I'm off for just over a week and I cannot wait. I'm watching a YouTube channel called Curious World which is a mix of supernatural, paranormal um, and history documentaries, murder, mysteries. Um, very good channel. Just thought I'd start watching this for today. Got a lot to do over the next couple of days because I haven't done any eBay. I've got to update my uh, eBay records. I want to do my taxes this weekend. And then of course next week Paul and me are on holiday so we will try and get out and about and we'll do some vlogging um, wherever it is we may go. I'm just logged in now to my phone. I will see you afterwards. I've got to pick up Jen. I've got to drop something off down at my mum's um, for her. So trying to keep her occupied during the time when she's still in, can't get around very much and you know not a lot to do really. She's watching telly or reading and she can't work a Kindle properly because it's touch screen and she's not very good at that. She's a bit heavy handed. Um, yeah, I'm going to go. I'll see you later. Bye guys. Happy. Hey everyone, it's Thursday night. It was perfect. Thank you for Paul's reading to Jennifer, he's reading Book. Dear Zoo. Oh, yeah. Thank you. She oh, loves yeah. books. She was very good in there. She stayed at yeah. all the food. They said she was really happy as is because she slept all night. That's why she had a really good oh, night. Yeah. They're it's looking lovely. at the animals now, like on Dear Zoo. Sure. So I've packed no. up my eBay yeah. orders, the four that are going out for tomorrow. I've done my accounts for the Close month bell. end. So it's all up to date. Um, I've changed my payment settings from daily to weekly so I don't have to every day go into eBay and then go into QuickBooks and check it over so all I've got to do then is go in once a week and it'll all go in one day on Tuesday and on Tuesday I should go in and put it in a lump sum and then I'll just it's just going to be easier to do it like that rather than every day so tomorrow I'm off as you know and I will be doing some sort of eBay stuff in the morning. I might tidy up the shed, because it needs it. I need to get to the cameras to get them listed, don't I? I haven't got many cameras listed, I think I've got one. So I need to get some cameras listed, so. But yeah, cracking on. Um, yeah, gonna get Jennifer to bed in a minute, so see you in a bit. Good morning everybody, it is now Friday morning. Jennifer's at nursery. Paul's downstairs in a meeting. I've just come upstairs, I made a cup of tea. I've already measured a load of items, um, two of them need washing but that's fine, they, they're in the machine ready, next load they'll be on and I am just having a quick sit down, a cup of tea and then I'm going to start photographing some of those dresses I got last week, I'll show you that polka dot one, I put it on the, on the, the uh, half mannequin and just to show you because I think it's so nice, um, I'm really tired, again. But yeah, everything's good. So I've already measured the load. I'm going to photograph the stuff on my bread. Um, and then I'll see if I want to measure any more afterwards. My battery's dying, so I must remember to change that. I've got to go downstairs and get a bin bag in a bit. 
So I'm going to crack on. Like I said, I will show you that in a bit. And um, yeah, we'll see how we get on with it. Let's try and get this stuff photographed so I can chill out for the rest of the morning. I just want to show you this dress. It's a really unusual print. It's people in an office. And I've never seen anything like it. It's just people working in an office as a print. I think it's very, very unusual. I like the buttons on the cuffs. The cuffs are different colours on each side. I think it's a lovely dress. I just think it's so unusual with that print. I really quite like it. Yeah. Thought I'd show you that one. So I'm currently listening to a podcast about uh, Donald Swanson, who was a Victorian policeman around the time of the Rippers. And I'm sorting out, sorting out my bookcase here of Hollywood books. These two shelves I've not done, although I have got Carrie Fisher on there because she fits. At the moment, there's still normal books on there. Plenty of space on that top shelf. That's all Judy Garland and then Valentino. So Judy Garland goes from here, which is 100 Years of Oz, to the Ruby Slippers of Oz. And then here, this is the Valentino stuff. Um, and then uh, and then on this one, there's still some stuff that's got to come off. Wonder Woman and Doctor Who, more Wizard of Oz. Some biographies there. Jane Mansfield, Diane Dawes, Clara Burr, Mae West, Thelma Todd, Carol Lombard, Liza Minnelli and Jean Harlow. And then at the bottom we've got the really tall coffee table books, Where's the Oz Script? And then some books on uh, one on MGM, Chronicles of Cinema, Movie Stars of the 30s and 40s. Some various bits and pieces and then some more Judy Garland books which are the really tall ones and the Jean Harlow ones that are quite tall and won't fit on any other shelf. It's hard work but it's getting there. I've now got one free complete shelf for the completed current books. There's the ripper shelf nearly full. I have got this shelf here which is full of junk at the moment. I can put a ripper on there and then there's my spiritual stuff, witch stuff, spells, ghost stories, mixed all up with my history books, so you can see Victorian Scandals by Michelle Morgan there, Black Death, and then all my history and my Egypt, and then over there's the colouring books, and I'm going to be moving them very, very soon. I still haven't changed the battery, I'm going to have to do it in a minute, but I just got this uh, little book, Jack the Ripper Suspects. By the Whitechapel Society. Looking forward to reading that one. I've got another one that's coming as well soon. So, and underneath that is the Code of Zodiac magazine, which arrived today. And where did the other one go? I bought another book up, and I don't know where it's gone. Oh, here it is. Yep. And the very tiny Beauty of Horror Tricks and Treats Halloween Special. I'm definitely going to order one of the big books as well. Hi guys, it's Friday night. I've come upstairs and Paul's going to have a Zoom with his friend. So I'm going to watch some YouTube Ripper documentaries probably. And um, I still haven't changed the battery unless it's charging. So now it's charging downstairs. So I'll put it in tomorrow morning. But that's going to be it for me tonight. I got a pint of uh, Stronghold Dark Fruits. I got my colouring tray table and I'm going to carry on doing a bit of colouring while watching some Ripper. See you later. Bye guys. Hello everybody, it's, it is actually Saturday. Um, I woke up this morning with a terrible pressure headache because um, the air pressure's changed. And I do find if it changes significantly I get a headache so it's around the sinuses area. That's okay, it's, it's, it's still there but it, it's not as bad as it was. So that's the main thing. Um, we're going to go out for a walk. It's not very nice out, it's very grey. It's probably going to rain but we'll put our coats on and just go for a trundle along the canal and show you what it's like. And We might go a different way. I try and go towards me mams rather than towards cross keys which is the way we normally go um if it's not too bad next week we might go up to kung han scenic drive which is a nice park and just walk around get some exercise and sahawi valley drive that's a nice one as well there's loads of places to go oh dear i think she's hurt herself i better go and see what's going on you look lovely in your coat jen You've got your mittens on. Yes. It's raining, isn't it, Daddy? Yeah. yeah. Come on then, let's go under the bridge. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Come on, under the bridge, please.
past the fallen tree. What's the matter, Jen? Don't you want your mittens on? She keeps playing with the mittens. Take them on, put them off. Same with the hood, on and off, on and off. Here she comes, having a good run. <laughs> Jennifer! Here she is. Yeah. Come on then. This way. Okay. Hood up, please. <laughs> but it's not very nice, so we're heading off home. It is raining. What's the matter? No, you're not being carried, Jen. You walk. Walk. We're going home now. Yeah, come on. Quiz time. Um, Music trivia tonight. Let's do this. We're at the end of round two. I didn't bother at the end of round one because we were 43 and there's only like 47 groups. But now we're at, what are we at? 29th after the second round. We've gone up to 29th. That's a lot better. We're more happy now. So, yes. That was much better. We will be quizzing in the middle of next week, won't we? Because we're on holiday for the week and we can't go anywhere because we're in lockdown. We're in lockdown. So we'll probably do a couple in a week. So you'll get some more fun. So I'll be back after this because I'm going to start playing my, 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 my music now. Just had a lyrics round. That was really good. I knew most of them. There's a few I didn't know. But we got most of them right for once, which is great. So very pleased. And we had one of the fastest. We got one of the fastest, which was um, stopped into a church. Church I found along the way. Was that that? Something like that. Yeah, which was California Dreaming anyway. Got that the fastest. Gonna see where we are now. Can you see your name? Cheer away. Top 30. Top 30, guys. 20 seconds. There we are. 20 second power drills. There we go. Gone up again. That round was brilliant. I really enjoyed that. Anyway, I'm gonna knock it off before I get copyrighted. So that was okay. We did all right in the round. It was evil mode. We didn't do too badly. We didn't answer what we didn't know. We got one wrong. But let's see where we ended up. In a minute. Oh, there's a bonus round. Bonus. All right, I'll be back in a minute. Yeah, that was fun. Just waiting for the final scores now. Just waiting for the final scores now. There was a little extra bonus round, which was fun. Right, end of the round. Have a quick check see. on everyone, see how you're getting on. How did you get on the first the two rounds, guys? Bit of fun at the end. It was good, wasn't it? So don't forget, in a fortnight's time, if you want another uh, music trivia quiz, drop me a message and say, yeah. So there you go, that's Wes, MB Quizzes. If you want a music trivia quiz and you want to join in in a fortnight, uh, right. drop him a line. He's got a Facebook page. Your score. All right. For tonight's quiz. First round was horrible. The next round was the best. Um, are we ready? Yeah. I'm ready. I'm ready. Here they come. It's the last of it. And don't forget, if you are announced the winner, I want you to drop me a private message with your email. We'll send your prize over to you. Here they come. Prize is 50 quid. We've never won, but we do it for a laugh. Okay. So I'll try and give you all a mention if I can. Sunshine, the Quiz and Sisters, the Rockers, Quiz Girl Abuse, Out Out Beat Beat, the Wonky Donkeys, Gazam, Quiz Like Abuse, the Three Amigos, and then Hot <laughs> Jays Till Butlins. Quizillas, Agatha Christie, Bordville, the Three Little Pigs, the Fields, Bloodies, Milky Joe, Mad Ferrets, Quizzy Rascals. 23rd, we finished that, that's not too bad. Happy with that? Considering we were doing so badly at the beginning, we came up mid table, which is where we like to finish. So we're going to listen to some music now. Hopefully, Jennifer's going to be asleep because she's been crying or making loud noises all the way through the quiz, but that's not too bad. That was fun. Like I said, we will do some in next week's quiz, and of course, there will be a weekly vlog because we're on holiday. We'll be going out and about in Philly County, see what we can find. But yeah, all done. See you tomorrow. It's Sunday tomorrow. Morning, everybody. It's Sunday, um, last day of the week. It's nice because I don't have to get up for work tomorrow. Um, I'm about to. I'm flashing. My phone's flashing. Go shopping. Highlight of the week that. Oh, I must remember to take my purse down. 
um, and get the food shopping done. Um, take some shopping around to mum's because she needs a few bits. It's a horrible day out there again, I believe. It sounds wet. And see what the day brings. Yeah, I mean, we did the quiz last night. I want to try and do a bit of colouring today. I want to start filming the Arteza pencils review. Um, first impressions video. Um, Sunday, so Castle Arts second part will go up. That hasn't gone up yet. No, it hasn't. That'll go up tonight, which is fine. Quite happy to do that tonight. That, along with another flip through I've got. So I'm just putting up two a day at the moment. Just to, I've got so many flip throughs to get through. And some of them are like Halloween related, so I want to get them done. And then... I might have a colour in chat tonight. I might not. I haven't decided yet. Because it wouldn't hurt to have a day of just putting a flip through up tomorrow. I'll, I'll make up my mind. Um, I know what picture I'm doing, so that's something. Um, we're going to be doing Kelly Horton's book, so. Anyhow, I better go and finish getting ready. Uh, list is done. I've just got to get some clothes for Jen. And that's it. I'll see you in a bit. Hi everyone, it's Sunday evening, everybody's in bed, it's getting quite late. Didn't really vlog much today because nothing happened. We went shopping and we came home and we watched the auction. I won one item, so tomorrow we'll go and pick that up from Cardiff. Because um, it's part of my business, it's I'm allowed to do it because I need stock for my, my business. So it's an essential journey, really. I can't run my business without stock to sell. So, And I might show that. And there's, I got some items for me as well. Um, but, um, yeah, everyone's in bed. It's really chilly. It's gone really cold and horrible. Although it did stop raining and the sun did come out early this evening. Um, I'm sitting in bed. I'm watching Hollywood Graveyard, which is a great channel on YouTube. If I remember, I'll put a link down below. Um, no, anyway, if you just type in Hollywood Graveyard, you'll find it. They do some fantastic tours of various cemeteries of famous people. So they've obviously, you know, graves are famous to people. So they've done um, Westwood with Marilyn and Dean Martin. And gosh, there's some of there. Dominique Dunn's there. Heather O'Rourke's there. Farrah Fawcett Major's there. Jack Lemmon's there. Billy Wilder's there. There's so many people buried there. Um, Sloan Sun's there as well, I believe. And obviously Hollywood Forever, which is where Valentino is, Judy Garland, and so on. Um, I'm currently watching the English episodes, so there's some English cemeteries and British ones. They did one lot last year, they did four episodes, and I saw those last year. And now I'm watching this, the ones they've put up recently, I haven't watched them yet. So they came on, and I started watching them. And I don't know if it's just me, but I do love visiting cemeteries and graveyards. Um, so if I'm on holiday and there's a, a pretty church, I will try and walk around the church and take some photographs and take some photographs out in the graveyard of the graves. Um, and then if there's a cemetery nearby, so for instance, um, up the road in Cross Keys, we've got Risker Old Cemetery, which is, I've photographed that for years. I photographed that back when I was a teenager doing photography. Um, love it, love photographing it. And then of course, when I can travel, there's St. Willis in Newport, Cates in um, Cardiff, uh, Arnest Vale in Bristol where my fam I've got family buried there so I like going there just to have a look around and visit the graves. I haven't done it this year, haven't done much graveyard photographing since Jennifer was born. Paul's not keen on graveyards, he thinks they're morbid. I just think they're very peaceful, it's not about death, it's about history for me and the history of these people and there are some so many interesting people out there. So for instance in, in Cates you've got um, Louisa Maud Evans who's known as the balloon girl and she parachuted out of a balloon over the Bristol, Bristol Channel um, and died basically. Her body was washed up um, somewhere else a few weeks or a few days later. It's all on the internet if you look up Louisa Maud Evans, the balloon girl. So I photographed her grave. There are lots and lots of interesting graves at Arnis Vale. Um, I'm not going to name them all, I'd be a feather, obviously my family. But I, I do love it. I've visited uh, graveyards and cemeteries in Cornwall. Um, Barnoon is one of them. Uh, there is a grave there of a Titanic victim and I wanted to visit that. Next time I go to Cornwall I do want to visit the grave of actor Edward Woodward who was buried I think in... I can't think of where it was but he died in Truro Hospital so because he lived in Cornwall. But he's buried in uh, Cornwall. I think I'm going to say Padstow area I'm not sure I'd have to check um, so for me it's, it's visiting those people who were important played an important part in my life like 
you know, the actors and stuff. Uh, then it's paying respects to people who, like the guy who died on Titanic, who lost his life through no fault of his own, through just trying to, to visit. He was going to visit his family, a uh, brother, I think, in Boston or somewhere like that. And he was going to join him in America and, and never made it, sadly. And, and, and then, like, Louisa Evans, just somebody who did something extraordinary. It's fascinating. It's interesting that we were watching one of the Who Do You Think You Are, and I think it was Jack D. No, no, it wasn't. Not Jack D. Paul Merton. It was one of those Cockney comedian type people. I can't remember who it was now. And his father disappeared, or his grandfather disappeared, or some sort of answer. His grandfather, I think. And they don't know what happened to him. And he tracked down his grave at Cate's Cemetery because he he died in Cardiff. So, and there's just so many things like that. I just find it fascinating, the history aspect of it all. Am I the only one? Does anybody else out there find graveyards and cemeteries fascinating and enjoy the history of them? I mean, yes, there's some gruesome stuff that, and stories that I could tell you about um, St. Louis Cathedral graveyard. And there's, you know, obviously London has got a lot of gruesome stories. But I didn't know that, that Jenny Lind, the... Um, Swedish Nightingale was buried in Great Malvern and I used to live in the area not in Great Malvern itself but in Worcestershire which is where Great Malvern is had I known she was buried there I would have made sure I went and visited it while I lived there so you know it's things like that I didn't do a lot of graveyard visiting then it was really when I moved back to Wales although I've always liked walking around them that I've really started visiting them with my dad because my dad again he loves history and he loves walking around graveyards and thinking about it and as he said he said don't worry about the dead. It's the living you've got to worry about. The dead can't hurt you. It's the living you've got to worry about. And he's right. He is right. And I, I've, I've lived um, opposite a graveyard. When we lived in Mangotsfield, the church was opposite our shop and you could look out and see the cemetery, the graveyard part of it. As a child, it's a bit weird, but doesn't bother me anyway that's the end of the vlog uh for this week i will be starting a new one tomorrow obviously it's my week off so hopefully we'll be out and about it's gonna be a bit rainy i'm hoping it might not be as bad as they're predicting so i can get out and about a bit more I might even visit a cemetery not likely hope you've enjoyed this vlog let me know what you think down in the comments below and i'll see you again very soon bye guys